Well, hello. I'll just show you my surroundings. Doesn't look like I've got anyone here just yet, so I'll just sit and wait. I just did a little announcement, but it is the middle of the day and people are probably quite busy doing stuff. So I'm just here in the park having a nice time and I've got my beer. If you are watching, do come and say hi. Let me know if you're here. I can see there's a few now. So, oh, hello, Jimbo. How are you doing? What are you up to today? I'm here in Rochester. We are at the Castle Garden. So this is about a 20 minute walk from my house. It's really nice actually. This is the most people I've seen in a long time. We have the beautiful castle there. And, and Heather here. Hi Heather. Uh, Jim's just got back from the grocery store weather there looks like weather here oh we've got matching weather excellent well it's probably a bit early for you i would say cheers but it's probably a bit too early for you to be drinking but yeah anyway cheers so i've just grabbed hiya joss just grabbed a couple of these from the news agent or the off license just there and i checked first that we've got toilets open because that's important so there's toilets so i can wee which is great because we've got two of these big things to get through. Oh, it's a bit chilly where Heather is. It's lovely, it's quite breezy, but that means it's not too, it, it stops it being too hot, but you can kind of really enjoy it. My beer's not wanting to stand up. <laughs> the grass is a bit uneven. Um, so what I wanted to do is a really quick uh, first impressions on the Juliet has a gun lipstick fever so what I'm gonna do is I'm just I've kept my wrists clean today so I'm wearing Venetian bergamot up, up here and in my hair and stuff let me know what you're wearing today so Venetian bergamot I love it for warm days like this because it's really fresh and pretty at the same time and um, I felt like I really felt like wearing it I was thinking it's such a pretty scent that I don't wear it as often. If I'm hanging around the house, I don't wear it that often. Um, it feels like a waste, I guess. Uh, Joss is wearing Histoire's de Parfum 1804. Heather is wearing Vangelis, lovely. Jimbo's wearing Galavant Los Angeles because I was watching Scott's review and wanted to test it along with him. I love doing that, sniffing along. That's brilliant. Rich Mitch is here just saw Cummings behind you. Oh, you're hilarious, Rich. Uh, I don't think our American friends are gonna get that one. Um, for those of you that don't get Rich's joke, uh, Rich is wearing Bois de Portugal, by the way. Oh, you do get it. Oh my God, does, uh, <laughs> do a whole shitty politician news travel that far? <laughs> um, Jim, uh, DK Albright's here. Hi, DK. So, I, I don't know if you saw in my picture, well you probably did, I've got quite the amazing cake here. Um, I don't think I'm going to eat it here, it's just too messy, but look at that. So just a basic custard tart. It's pretty bouncy, the old um, custard, it's quite firm, firm and bouncy. But I don't think, I might stick my finger in and, <laughs> and just give the... Uh, Give the cake. Shall I try the cake? Come on, I'm going to stick. Oh, it's really bouncy. It's not, it's got a lot of give. Here we go. So we've got some custard here. Mmm. Mm. It's smooth. It's only a little bit sweet, like those Portuguese custard tarts. It's not too sweet. I think that's why I like it. There's a subtlety in it, and then the spiciness of the cinnamon. Mmm, yum. We've got some passers by. So it's pretty busy here, I guess. It's Saturday and the weather's amazing, so that makes sense. Um, 
I'm kind of awkward because I'm always a little bit embarrassed doing things like this in public. But cheers everyone. So do you want to smell lipstick fever? Well, I can't actually help you smell it, but what I can do is describe it to you. So the sample arrived today. Uh, I ordered it off the website, Joliet jo jo Has A Gun. Um, Joss says what's behind you looks interesting. So this is Rochester Castle. Um, uh, there you go. Oops, sorry. And over in that direction is the cathedral. Yeah, it's really lovely here. Rochester's got a lot of history uh, with Charles Dickens. You can look it up. There's quite a lot of places in Rochester that are in his books and he spent some time living here. So uh, it's kind of like the typical school trip that local school kids have to do around the castle, around the high street, look at historic buildings. Um, Heather says, has everyone checked in? Yeah, right, so we've got 10 people watching. So uh, if you're not already checked in, you do need to, as Heather rightly pointed out, it is a health and safety requirement that you sign into the live stream and let everyone know that you're here. Hi, Tracy. Oh, cheers. <laughs> I just popped some champagne. Um, I can see that someone's saying, uh, that Jim's saying hi to Scott. So that means that the Centurion is in the house, I believe. But I didn't see Scott's comment, so I do apologize. And Nick is here. Hey, says Nick. And Dan Spanos as well is checking in. Oh, there we are. That's the Centurion saying hi to everyone. Our Rosa Salas Ceylon for Scott. Uh, my arm's getting achy because I'm holding the phone up, so I might swap hands in a minute. Just, I like to show you the background. So, uh, what I'm going to do then is spray this lipstick fever on this wrist that's holding up the camera first, because I've got another one. I've also got mmm mmm. Right, so I do three sprays on the wrist, and I'll let the alcohol dissipate, and I'll show you the oh. Tracy's just finished some ice cream, lovely. And we have a hello from Germany. I can't say your name, I'm so sorry. Uh, right, so the other one I've got is the mmm. So I'll do that in a second if you're interested. Uh, DK Albright says, oh, lipstick fever. I thought you meant lipstick. <laughs> no, lipstick fever off of um, Juliet has a gun. So yeah, I think that might have dissipated. I just read a review on Fragrantica. Actually, it was the article on Fragrantica about this fragrance, or it was actually a group article about several lipstick fragrances. And it didn't do so well. Apparently it's a bit, a bit bland, a bit watered down. Hi, Eugene, nice to see you. Um, yeah, so, but I've, I'm trying not to have that to affect my own perception of the fragrance. Um, so let's have a sniff. Okay, so this is quite iris dominant straight away and it's that suede iris. It actually smells like a suede with raspberry. It's really nice. Everyone's saying hi to Harry, but I don't know who, I didn't see a comment from Harry, so I do apologize. So hi to Harry as well. Um, yeah, it's a really nice iris. It's a blatant iris um, with this lip, with this raspberry scent. That's not too, it's not particularly syrupy sweet. It's a little bit sweet. It's kind of a synthetic type raspberry, rather than smelling a bowl of fresh raspberries. It is that raspberry, like a raspberry topping that you put on an ice cream without being too sweet. <laughs> Rich Mitch Blatant Iris Claxon. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know what I mean. Some iris fragrances, they're not necessarily blatantly iris they're just powdery or they, ju they just have something that makes you know that they're iris without smelling iris e hi hillary nice to see you check out my castle that's my castle by the way i let these people use the garden because i'm super generous okay i'm gonna have a little swig and i'll sniff that again and see if i can find anything else from it 
no I'm naked this is um it's actually a naturist garden but no one else bothers to follow the rules everyone else is wearing clothes so I'm completely naked not really <laughs> not really <laughs> Uh, no, so, so, no, it's Joe. Yeah, in general, it's a bit of a letdown. I haven't tried this one though. Yeah, I haven't found one I love yet. I, I think they're okay. Um, there's a few that I quite like, but there's nothing that I've loved. Bluebird, I'm outside chilling in the grounds of Hereford Cathedral, drinking a New England IPA from Cloudwater, and wearing Eau de Monsieur by Annick Guitar. Very nice. So, we're kind of um, twinning in some respects there, Bluebird. Um, and songs lyrics is here <laughs> hillary says darn it because i'm actually wearing clothes because i think hillary wants a bit of me <laughs> hillary are we still on for sunday tomorrow let me know um and dk i'm cleaning so i'm wearing odor sweat uh so are you naked dk albright because i understand that you lot like to do chores naked correct me if i'm wrong um, sentient man hi Raj uh, I just grabbed this because to be honest I like the label it's San Miguel it's only um, it's premium especial but it's in this uh, celebrating 130 years limited edition so this is a limited edition bottle but the juice remains the same I was kind of hoping there might be a touch of fruitiness because of the way that that looks mm. Let me just catch up with your comments. Um, Hilary, yes, we're still on. I messaged you about time. It's supposed to be with Agnes around 11.30. Not sure yet. <laughs> we'll figure it out, Hilary. Uh, the later, actually, in the UK, the better for me. But, um, yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, Brian says, your drink has Memo's ocean leather design on it. Okay, uh, I don't really know what that is but there you go oops trying to find your comment sorry um dan says it's a can claire rich says squeeze a lemon in it i don't have no lemons rich got no lemons unfortunately it's not something i thought to bring uh, and dk says he can't be naked because of his nosy neighbors that's fair enough but right, let's have another sniff of this um i don't know what the notes are I feel like it's in that it's in that ballpark of Chanel Missia. Oh, this is making me burp. Chanel Missia Galan lipstick. No, what's it called? French Kiss. Frederick Mao lipstick rose. It is in that ballpark, but it is not the same. It's a different variation. But to me, this is much more irisy and suede like and it also smells like it's got quite a lot of ambroxan in it it's quite um it's got that modern synthetic thing like athalia that i just reviewed yesterday has a bit like baccarat rouge has in that dry down with um a lot of uh, quite a large dose of what i think is ambroxan i could be i could be wrong but i, I think that's the way of modern modern niche perfumery it seems to be uh, massive doses of things like ambroxan iso e super amber max it just they're very pleasant and there's nothing bad about them but sometimes it feels a bit lazy or i guess it's just the way that it's it's trending people like it so i have to accept it i'm not i'm not hating but this is um modern niche this is definitely quite a lot of ambroxin to my nose anyway it's a bit suede -y. it definitely feels a little bit like that athalia that i tried yesterday suede iris almost a touch resiny just a little bit of the sweet raspberry it's nice you wear this and you smell really nice 100 percent. but does it excite me no I like it though it's nice what size is that one litre no I think it's half about half a litre 500 millilitres so a half a litre I don't know what that is in um would you lot say you, um, not you lot but you know like um, 
fluid ounces. The Americans say fluid ounces quite a lot. No, is it fluid ounces? Oh, I don't know. Can you hear me okay? Because I, when I hold it, I think I cover up the uh, microphone sometimes. Um, Rich says try a melon instead. Rich. Uh, TK all prices two liters. Uh, Brian says we are here. So about the noise. We hear 50% clear, 50% wind. I'm sorry about the windy noises. And Jimbo's completely switched to metric system in my head. I have no idea what announces anymore. Mm. Ah. This is so nice. Do you know what? It's been such a long time since I've been out and around people that are just out having a nice time. It's, it's almost like... Um, kind of festival vibes kind of thing and this is where we have um, concerts in the summer they, they've been cancelled this year we were gonna have um, who's the guy that sings with the Libertines I've forgotten his name uh, looks a bit dirty has some issues with drugs he was gonna he was gonna do a concert down here I was gonna come with my friend Lindsay because she loves him and we were also gonna have I'm not sure if we, I can't remember the other band we were going to have, but there was two that I said I'm definitely going to come to see and, and uh, unfortunately they've all been cancelled. But yeah, it's really lovely when they have the bands on here. They start sort of mid-afternoon or sort of mid to late afternoon you get like the warm-up bands and then as evening sets in you have like, the main act and, and they're just literally just, they just over there and, and everyone just sets up you can set up blankets and you can bring deck chairs and you can bring your own food and it's just really really nice scott says you got wind claire well i am drinking beer but there is there is see look there's wind it's blowing my hair it's not just me it's not just me um okay right so i'm gonna give this another sniff um, so question there from the chap whose name begins with an X best niche summer fragrance for men well for everyone I think Renaissance 1861 is a winner because it lasts really well it's super fresh I love how natural it smells it's got a really lovely fruity not just citrus but it feels to me like a fruit salad with some mint sprigs natural mint on it and somehow manages to last absolutely ages super fresh really really nice I wear it I love it but I also think there's nothing necessarily feminine or masculine it's just a really nice fresh scent so that's my answer to that one smell this frag. J Hag frag. Yeah, it's getting deeper. I feel like the raspberry is disappearing quite quickly. It's not particularly sweet. In terms of lipstick style frag fragrances, it's not, it's one of the less sweet ones I've ever smelt. It's, I guess it's closer to your, to Dior Homme intense than than the other ones I've already mentioned because it is really not that sweet it's like a woody someone's smoking cannabis so it's difficult for me to smell this now <laughs> yeah unfortunately um cannabis is interfering with my nasal perceptions yeah this is like Dior Homme Intense has just had a tiny infusion of raspberry. The opening is a bigger infusion of raspberry, but the raspberry is going very, very quickly. And it's got a little bit more uh, modern molecules like curanbroxin. Oh, Joss is off. Nice to see you, Joss. Thanks for popping by. So, should we try the MMM one? Mmm. So, that is there. So, with one hand. I will try and get it out. I like to get it out for you, you know that? So, here we go. 
So that is gonna have to, I'll tell you what, I'll just go in the crook of my elbow and then I can smell it. So um, 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 I'm just spraying it in the crook of my elbow now, free sprays, that's it there. We'll let the alcohol disappear. Talking of alcohol, it's time for another swig from my gigantic can of beer. I haven't drunk beer in months and months and months. It's so fattening. I just, usually I can't bear to drink that many calories. I'd rather drink vodka and Coke, but out in the middle of the day, and it's just easier because you can get it from the news agents. And I keep saying news agents, off license, off, off license. Mm. So, um, 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 heaven smelled um, um, um. I say, I don't think that's how you say it. Mmm, but that just feels fucking weird. Like, mmm. So, mmm. Oh, it's quite fresh actually. I, so I understand it's a gourmand. I actually don't know what any of the notes are. Uh, DK Albright's got to go. In my speedos, Claire. Enjoy. See you later. Joking on the speedos. Okay, fair enough. Wear what you want. DK Albright, as you can see, I'm naked, so it's fine. So, um, um, um. It's fresh and sunny smelling. Um, how do I explain this? I like it. We'll start with that. I like it. But it's, I was expecting thick, sweet, rich, and it's actually light and fresh. Johnny Legrand says, hello, how's it going? Hi, Johnny. Um, I need to spray it where it's easier to get to. Let me, right, I know. I'm gonna spray it again, because I'm having trouble reaching the crook of my elbow with my nose. So, we're gonna go again. And I'm gonna spray it on the back of my arm. And then, oop, dropped it. Dropped it. Right, so if I do it there, before I lose it. Mm, mm, mm. I wonder if there's any notes on here. I don't think so. Oh, hang on, we've got some sort of description. Right, it says it's a gourmand, yeah, elegant composition. Uh, da, 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 da. Zero calorie treat. It doesn't actually give me any notes, so that tells me nout. It tells me naffle. Uh, Richard Sanford, that Rochester Castle, yes it is. Do you know it, Richard? And um, Brian says, from what I've tried, J-Hag doesn't do thick and heavy. They're all quite soft and light. Um, yeah, so this smells like something clean and soapy, almost like a suntan lotion, but not a coconutty one. Actually, reminds me a little bit of Jill Sanders San. Jill Sander Sun. I think it's something like a frangi pani or tiara flower type scent. It's very clean. Also reminds me a little bit of Vanori by Sylvain Delacorte. It's definitely, for me, it's that when they say solar notes, I'm getting that kind of feel. Savvy Vyung says hello from America. Hi, Savvy. Yeah, this is, it's fresh and clean and yellow. It's 100% yellow. I think the, um, no, uh, the writing's pink. To me, it's like the a ye egg yolk yellow, the way this smells to me. It's a little bit, it's a touch musky, but clean laundry musk. It is vanilla-y, but it's not full on. You can tell there's vanilla in there, but it's not the, it's not like a separate note. It's not like the main focus. It's just adding to the, it's creamy. It's adding to this creamy, sweet muskiness. Uh, Bluebird, I'm looking to purchase a citrus green neroli frag. Have you tried Treffle Fur Purr by Atelier? No, I haven't, I'm afraid. Interested in this? I've got Ferrari Bright Neroli, my only experience with neroli frags. My favourite neroli these days, apart from Tom Ford Neroli Portofino, is 
and I haven't got it yet. It's on my buy list. It's Anik, no, not Anik, it's I've forgotten. Uh, Nikolai, it's Nikolai Neroli Intense, and I like it because it's actually quite rich, so it's not actually a super fresh like Bright Neroli, it's very citrusy and fresh, and it doesn't really have any depth. Um, neroli intense is like almost rich like a kind of like slightly honey amber type base to it and I really like it you probably wouldn't feel refreshed if you put it on and wore it on a summer's day but I just love it uh, okay let's have a little drink so I'm gonna go back to uh, Richard says Rochester Castle is very haunted oh that's fun yeah, I'll have to go. I think I must have visited as a child. I don't think I've been in there for quite a while, or so. But I'm gonna go back to the lipstick one, which is here. Yeah, um, suede, iris, and broxin. Not much raspberry. I don't even think it's in the background now it's uh you wouldn't notice it i think if i said to anyone what does this smell like your average person is never going to say raspberry anymore they might say there's a hint there's a tiny hint of something fruity but this is quite an addictive scent though it's reminding me of john paul gaultier's la belle which i also believe and i have i can't get confirmation and no one else has said it but I believe there's a heavy dose of ambroxan in that as well. And I think that it's got that, which has reminded me of it. And I do think that it does work very well and it is quite addictive and it is very nice and it's very crowd pleasing. But the, the snob in me, the critic in me wants to say, come on guys, let's try something new now. But I guess from a marketing point of view, from a sales point of view, if it works, why, why would you change it? So it's like a tried and tested thing, isn't it? Chuck a load of ambroxan in something, it generally people like it. Yeah, it's got that slightly sharp, dry, woodsy thing that I think is ambroxan. <laughs> Richard says I go looking for ghosts. <laughs> Richard, are you have you are you local or have you lived around here before? Tell me more. Um, David, a frag barbecue from next week. Who's got a nice big garden to host? I reckon Jim has. <laughs> yeah, we'll all fly over to Jimbo's. <laughs> it's a long way for a barbecue. It is a little bit. Claire has the castle, plenty of barbecue. Yes, you're right. So this, obviously this is my castle. This is my garden, which I generously open up to the public. So yeah, you all come here and we'll have a wicked barbecue. It's gonna be amazeballs. Yes, they're all my minions, yes. <laughs> uh, Jim says, we've seen Claire's garden. It's quite large, she could host us all. <laughs> Maybe we'll just have to have a UK one and an American one. But I'm going to both. Think Pink says, hi, hello Think Pink. So I'm getting through this. I reckon I'm more than halfway, so well done me. I'm going to try and drink both before I need a wee, but that could be pushing it. And obviously, when I go for a wee, I can't just leave the live stream going because um, as much as these people are my minions, there's still that risk that they might want to steal my phone. Uh, Richard says he's going all over the UK looking for ghosts. Have you been to Rye? Is it, no, not Rye. Um, oh, where is that place I went ghost hunting? Um, not Headcorn, it's just it's further past Headcorn out Ashford E Way. I've forgotten what it's called now, but um, famously, famously haunted area. Uh, I didn't find any ghosts, but it was kind of fun. Well, we, we went to a graveyard at night time. Yeah, stupidity, and we weren't kids. 
Mate, David says, Richard, you do know ghosts don't exist, don't you? I don't know. Um, I saw one. Well, I had an experience with one as a child, and I still believe. I think there's something. There's something. Not necessarily like ghosts, ghosts, like white sheets. But there is, I think there's something. Sometimes energies, energies from past people can affect things I think but that's just me Jim live, lives on a fourth floor walk up apartment but everyone is invited we'll take over we'll take over the whole apartment Jimbo <laughs> right so I'm gonna go back and smell let's smell the old um 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 yeah i don't love it i don't dislike it um this is mm. it's a really pretty vanillic floral solar sunscreen i don't know but it's some those kind of it's the kind of scent that should act like your skin but better but it's kind of the way it's acted is a little bit obnoxious like it's it's jumping off my skin and it's contradicting my skin if that makes any sense it feels like the kind of scent that should smell like you're just fresh out the shower and you've got beautiful lotion maybe some sunscreen on you're not really wearing a perfume but you smell amazing but somehow it's not not it's not subtle it's kind of jumping it's I don't know if it's sandalwood or it, is. it is really nice it's really nice it's for me it's not full bottle worthy but it is really nice but it's not as gourmand as I expected I was expecting full-on gourmand and it's not really it's more of a floral creamy slightly sweet thing spirits have changed my mind i can tell you wow oh, that's amazing feel free to tell us proper like a full-on ghost story yes uh, david says the same what have you seen to change your mind <laughs> Uh, Jim says this has sounded like a topic for a live stream best fragrances for ghost stories yeah I mean I could look up a ghost story if you want uh, I'll find you like a classic ghost story that's not too long and we can maybe fragrance some of the characters or something uh, Jay Hag seems to be the live love love <laughs> oh that's funny Brian yeah I I do not have, I'd just like to say, I, I do not have any words or quotations anywhere in my house. Actually, I say that, a friend did give me a home sweet home uh, little tiny plaque. So uh, if a friend gives me something, I'll put it up. But I'm not one of those live, love, love type people. But I see what you mean there. It's kind of, God, um, not bland, but a bit too sickly happy sickly happy <laughs> fake fake happy fake positivity i don't know uh so bluebird says shadows out of my peripheral vision doors been opened after i've come home from work uh, ollie's mum's here hi ollie's mum um actually i had a little visit from a ghost in my new house after I'd moved in, it was a little while, um, the, so the previous occupants, when I went to view the house, I went back for a second viewing and they sat me down and they wanted, they were lovely, the elderly couple, they'd been there 36 years and they wanted to tell me all about the house and how everything worked. <laughs> and you'd think they might not want to mention the ghost, but um, they told me that when they moved in there was a ghost can't remember what they said it did but both of them sensible people over the age of retirement both of them said there was a ghost in the house but they fully gutted and refurbished and the ghost 
when with the refurbishment for some reason which is kind of weird but that's what they said um, and I just had the one experience where I was laying in bed at night and I felt what I thought was sweetie jump onto the bed and it was dark and I, was, I wasn't quite asleep and I felt sweetie jump on the bed and I felt her, her, her weight sort of somewhere between my legs and so I reached out my hand and went to stroke her like and there was nothing there and sweetie wasn't there but I could still feel the weight on my legs in that same position the weird thing was I had a second of feeling scared and then this feeling of uh, calm understanding kind of that it, it is something strange going on but it's nothing to be afraid of it was actually it was fine and I've never had anything else since but that was um you know you could probably explain it away if you want but that's my story uh, Jim says my cousins used to talk to a ghost in the house when they were little according to my aunt they'd sit at the base of the steps and have a conversation with it, it freaked my aunt out they say that children and animals can see fucking little kids with their stupid little alarms on I'm sorry um, it's just this annoying little child. Um, uh, David says, you lot are nuts. Fair enough. Brian says, I thought I saw a ghost, but it was myself in the mirror after two months of lockdown. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, most of us don't look like ghosts two months after lockdown. Most of us are like double, <laughs> double what we used to be. <laughs> Uh, Rich says, good thing this ghost wasn't a sex case. Uh, yeah. Ollie's mum says, I thought I saw one at my aunt's place when I described him. She said it was a husband. I don't believe they are real, but damn, that felt real. Oh, John Snow's here. Hi, John. Nice to see you. I need to get my, work my way through this beer. This is nice sitting in the sun with a beer and people, like real life people everywhere. It's fantastic. Love it. So shall I smell these things again and see if I notice anything else? Yeah, it does. It, it feels like a combination of dual hom intense with an overdose of ambroxan. And that's kind of it now. Any raspberry fruitiness is pretty much gone. It's very unisex. It's the most unisex lipstick fragrance I've ever smelt. In fact, the marketing's probably a bit off because it's kind of lipsticky, but it's going to put men off. And I don't think, I think men can, have, if you can wear anything from the Dior Hum line, you can wear this 100%. It's very nice. Now where are we here? Mm, mm, mm. Just this weird how it just smells yellow to me. It's, it feels like clean, clean laundry blowing in a breeze. Yellow flowers, a bit of sunscreen. No coconut, but imagine sunscreen without the coconut. It's kind of like that. Yeah, it's like a sunscreen. That's it really, so it's nice. I like it, like I would happily wear both, but I wouldn't buy them. These days, I'm a bit fussy. Well, I've always been fussy, <laughs> but to pay niche prices. And I don't think they're mega expensive, Juliet has a gun, are they? I can't remember, but I think it's really nice. But you would, I think people probably think you smell like you're wearing sunscreen, to be honest. David says she's topless, hence the gathering. <laughs> Ava says topless, talking about ghosts. <laughs> John says, I know someone else would have noticed this, but there'd be a crowd around you. But Claire, do you have a top on, don't you? Uh, no, actually, I don't. I do, I do, I do, look. I just don't want to get um, tan lines, so yeah. Um, 
Jim says, John, have you seen a ghost? Uh, Bluebird says, best cheapy coconut dominant frag. Cheapy coconut. Um, I haven't tried it, but Rebel Fleur, I think it is from uh, Rihanna, gets a lot of love on YouTube. Um, coconut terracotta from Galant, it's not too expensive. It's a nice sort of frangipani and coconut sweet scent. I think it might be a lang ylang as well. It's quite floral. Um, anything like specifically men like, I don't really know. Um, Valadina says, good, I guess that's good morning GM. Good morning Claire. I just fell in love with Arabian perfumes. Oh, that's a whole nother rabbit hole to fall down. I'm going to try and avoid doing that myself. Uh, John says, well, Claire, you've been in the bath many a time. It's not that crazy. Yes, but there was no one else in the bathroom, was there? <laughs> not, not the general public. <laughs> Although, there's an idea. Jim says, you have more colour already than I get during the whole summer. I'm an addict. I actually have a problem, I think. I actually have an addiction to the sun and my skin is prematurely aging and I hate it but I can't stop so yeah it's a problem but I love having a tan I'm tandicted Scott doesn't go out in the sun so every time I look in the mirror I see a ghost <laughs> Ollie's mum says ter terracotta's discontinued isn't it I don't know um, any, anyone answer that? John says, I'm as pale as anything. I believe we all see what the mind creates and makes sense of. Don't believe they exist. Because why does nobody see a ghost cow? Deep for a Saturday. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a point. There's a point. Maybe other cows see ghost cows. Maybe we only see... But then I think you hear about humans feeling like they've got the presence of a, a deceased pet as well. So, who knows? Brian says, we all age, Claire. You'll be the best looking orange peel 40 years from now. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> right. Have a little drink. I think I'm going to call it a day in a second. Because this is aching my arm. Keep holding it and um, I'll get working through my beer <laughs> and maybe I'll eat the cake. Shall I show you the cake again? Do you want to see the cake? I know you do. Oh, oh fuck. Oops, I didn't mean to swear. There's the cake. It's a custard tart. I've tried the cream or the custard. It's rather nice. But how the hell I'm going to eat that here without getting super messy, I don't know. But luckily, there's toilets. There's actually toilets just over there. So at least I can clean up. I can't stand being sticky. Don't be rude. Uh, David says, love a tart. Heather says, custard tart looks amazing. Rush is here. Hi, Rush. She says, hello, beautiful. Hi, Rush. Um, John says, that custard will be turning. Quick, eat it, Claire. Yeah. And now I've got it sitting just in the grass, so that's not ideal, is it? Let's at least put the put the custard tart on the paper bag. So <laughs> yeah, cheers everyone. It's such a nice day. I'm so glad I could bring you all along. Brian, I got to run going to cook something. You're making me hungry. Yeah, sorry about that. I hope you have nice food. Lunch, I guess, for you, is it? Probably lunch. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so that's it, I think. I'm going to call it quits. I will, I won't be doing a live tonight now, but I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night you'll have myself and Hilary, and we're going to be doing a massive haul video because both of us are going to get together everything we've bought since quarantine, and we're going to be showing and telling. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun because we all know Hilary's been a bit spendy. I've actually... I've been buying cheaper stuff, but lots of it. So it could be a, a fun video, I think. And we all love Hillary, don't we? So it's going to be a 
good one i'll let you know on instagram facebook and on here there'll be a post in the community tab telling you once i've arranged with hillary what time suits us both then i will let you all know do come along and don't forget to bring your own things that you've bought bring your own purchases along so we can all know what we've been buying so thank you so much for joining me i'm going to leave you with a view of the castle and i'll see you all on sunday hopefully Mwah.